Okay, we're going to find the exact value for tangent of pi over 8. And as we can see, this right here is in radians. But of course, we can go ahead and change this into degrees because we like degrees better, right? So now let's go ahead and put this down, pi over 8, and we multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. And then we can see that the pi and pi will be cancelled it. And now we just have to work out 180 degrees divided by 8. Work that out, we will end up with 20. 2.5 degrees. Therefore, this question is the same as asking us what is the exact value for tangent of 22.5 degrees. And you have to keep in mind, whenever the question is asking us to find the exact value for tangent, sine, cosine, whatsoever, we must be working with a special angle that we know how to deal with. So if you look at 22.5 and just think about it, what are the special angles that we know? Well, we know how to deal with 0 degrees, right? And then 30, 45, 60, 90, and so on, so on, so on, right? 22.5 degrees. It happens to be exactly half of 45 degrees, isn't it? And let me put this down right here for you guys. This is the same as saying tangent of 45 degrees over 2. This right here will give us 22.5 degrees, isn't it? And with that being said, we can just go ahead and utilize the half angle formula for tangent to help us out, isn't it? That would be so wonderful, right? However, we do have a total of three versions of the half angle formula for tangent. The one that we should always use, in my opinion, is the one that has just one term in the denominator. And let me write this down right here for you guys. So this is the one that I would suggest you guys to use. We know that tangent of A over 2, right? This is the half angle formula for tangent. This is going to be, once again, we have a total of three versions. This is the one that we should always use. This is the same as saying 1 minus cosine A over sine A. As you can see, we only have one term, just a sine A in the denominator. It would be easier this way, all right? And now I will just have to go ahead and figure out the rest. This right here, the A, in our case, it will be just the 45, right? This and that match now. A is the 45 degrees. So I will put this into this form. I will start off by putting down the 1, and then minus cosine of A, which is the 45 degrees, and then over sine of a, which is sine of 45, like this. Right? Wonderful. And now I just have to figure out what's cosine of 45 degrees, likewise sine of 45 degrees. And to do so, let's just you know, look at the special red triangle real quick. This is the right angle, and here is my 45 degree, and then the ratio of the side is 1, 1, square root of 2. Right, with that right, angle, right triangles over there, we have 1 minus cosine of 45 degrees, let's look at this, right? Adjacent is right here, which is this one, over the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 2. Let's not rationalize the denominator yet. Let me just put down for this, right? 1 over square root of 2, for now. And then, over sine of 45 degrees, refer to this right triangle, the opposite, which is 1, over the hypotenuse, which is square root of 2. So, 1 over square root of 2. Again, okay, now we have complex fractions, so we can just go ahead, multiply the top and bottom by this denominator, which is the square root of 2. And let's go ahead and distribute, distribute, let's see what do we end up with. Square root of 2 times 1 is just square root of 2. Square root of 2 times negative 1 over square root of 2, they cancel, so we just have minus 1. This is the numerator. On the bottom, you see we have 1 over square root of 2 times square root of 2. They cancel each other out immediately, isn't it? So we just have over 1, which it doesn't matter. Overall, we just have square root of 2 minus 1 for tangent of pi over 8, namely tangent of 22.5 degrees. And that's it.